good afternoon or good morning, whichever one it is. One of the concepts in the book that's very hard to understand is some of these unusual rhythms that fall off the beat. Once you understand them, it makes rhythm notation very easy, dictation easy. But until you do, they're a little bit confusing. So I've decided to take a little time and go over them in person with you. So the first is something called syncopation. So if you remember from our meter discussion, meters have accents built in or stresses built in. So 4-4 four, four time is a strong accent on the first beat, also called the downbeat. It often has a slightly less strong accent on the third beat. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's what the ear wants to hear. That's what we're used to hearing. We're expecting it. Well, composers are never going to give you what you expect because that's just boring. If you can expect it, you also know what's coming. You don't listen. So what composers want to do is they want to shift things around. They want to keep the interest going by giving you the unexpected. And the first way they do that is they shift the accent off the beat. So you expect one, two, three, four. They give you an and, three, and. They put the accent off the beat by an eighth note or any other amount, it turns out. And that is exciting because it, it's surprising us. And when you move the accent off the beat, it's called syncopation. Now, I don't have a chalkboard with me, so I drew syncopation here. This rhythm is the most common kind of syncopation. This rhythm is ba, 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 ba. If you look at where the beats are, that's the black lines, and you see that the first beat, on the first beat, you do have a note, but on the second beat, there's no note. The note's on the eighth note of and of one. And then the third beat, there is a note, but there's nothing on the fourth beat. Again, that we shifted it over. It turns out also that when we have that rhythm, it's never notated or rarely notated, but tradition, and it's partly because of something called agogic accents. When something's longer, it tends to be accented. But we play it with the accent on and of one and and of three. Whoops, I put the second one in the wrong place, sorry. Oh, there we go. Permanently recorded. The professor made a mistake. So it's bum ba 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 Ba, ba. So if you see that rhythm, you always put your accent on that quarter note. You would think, well, why would I put on the quarter note? It's longer. It's just natural. And that we've been doing this for hundreds of years. And so composers don't even mark the accent. And what that does is it shifts the accent off the beat, off the expected place. It puts it on and of one, and of three. Anytime we shift the accent off the beat, it's called syncopation. But this is the most common form of syncopation. And you get used to this thing. Ba, 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 ba. You get that in your ear, and then anytime you hear it, you can write it down. You know it's ba, ba, ba. It's, it's a note on the first beat, a note on and of one, nothing on two, a note on and of two. Ba, ba, ba. And four, four, it's eighth quarter, eighth, eighth quarter, eighth. So that's the first rhythm the book talks about. It's hard if you don't have someone demonstrate it. The second one is the hemiola. Hemiola is a word you got to use. It's This has appeared in music for hundreds of years. It's in pop music, it's in classical music, it's in Brahms, but it's in Debussy, it's in everybody, and it's and it's played in, in music you hear on the radio all the time. This is music that's in 3-4. Now, we don't hear it as much today as we did, say, in the 60s and 70s, when we had a lot of popular music in 3-4. Nowadays, popular music's almost all in 4-4. Four, four. But if you're in 3-4, you expect the top rhythm. ba 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 but, right? Accent on one, two, three, one, two, three. Since we expect that, the composer is going to change it up. So you could do that for a while, get us all set, and then the composer is going to add a set of ties. And I'm going to show you these ties. So instead of being one, two, three, one, two, three, it's one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because that these notes are tied over, don't play anymore. One, two, three. Two, three. So it, it sounds to the ear just like this rhythm on the bottom. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But it's actually one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So imagine a piece going one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. You hear how that hemiola adds so much rhythmic interest to the music. So that's the hemiola. So the syncopation and the hemiola, two concepts. Remember, all the concepts in the book you should learn, but I'm going to go over on these lectures, the most difficult ones, and then in class, any other questions you have, we can go over together. All right? I'll see you in class very soon.